Here are all the questions that we will be doing in this question and then I'll split them up onto different pages. Consider the reaction between sulfur dioxide and oxygen to produce sulfur trioxide. The first question says define one mole of a substance. So what does one mole mean? Now I'll be honest, in all my years of teaching, never once have I seen them ask this in an exam. So I don't think the chances are high that you would see this again. But of course I'm gonna tell you what the definition is. But if you didn't know it, I wouldn't stress. It is the amount of substance having the same amount of particles that you would find in 12 grams of carbon. I don't know if you remember in like earlier grades, um, maybe like grade 10, where they defined, um, they started to define like moles and stuff like that, and they, they used carbon as their reference, okay? Um, I'm not gonna go into all the history of that now, but here is the definition. Um, I really wouldn't stress too much about memorizing this one, to be honest, but there it is, okay? Let's move on to the next question, it's a lot better. Write down the balanced equation for the reaction. So what we have here is sulfur dioxide. Di means two, so we have sulfur dioxide, and it's gonna react with oxygen. Now when you react with oxygen, it doesn't go look oh, like that. Oxygen is diatomic, so it will look like that. And what are the products gonna be? Well, the products are going to be sulfur, so that's sulfur, tri means three, like a tricycle, oxide. Okay, now we need to balance it. So the way that you could balance it is look at the number of sulfurs on the left, there's one, look at the number on the right, there's one. Okay, so the sulfurs are balanced. But if you look at the oxygen on the left, there is four, on the right, there is three. So I would actually, um, you can do this in different ways, but I'm gonna half this one. Now the reason I did that is if you have two and then you have half of this two, then that means on the left here we have three oxygens and on the right we also have three. Now we're not allowed to leave our answer with a fraction like that, so I'm gonna now multiply everything by two so the final answer there would be 2SO2 plus oxygen because this part will just cancel out to become a one. You can put a one there if you wanted to, but it's not necessary. And then this I would also multiply by two. And there we go. Everything would now be perfectly balanced. If 14 grams of sulfur trioxide is produced at STP, okay, I think we need our periodic table, guys. So they say 14 grams of sulfur trioxide is produced at STP. Um, calculate the volume of sulfur dioxide required. Okay, very easy question. You're gonna take this 14 grams and you're gonna convert it into moles over here, um, just using the formula N equals to M over big M. And so you're just gonna say 14 over. Now, you don't put the two on the calculator. You only look at this part over here. So SO3, um, S is 32, and then there's three oxygens. Each one is 16, so that would be 48. And so if you had to work this out, it would be 14 over 80. And so you would get, now don't round off because this is not the final answer. So that's 1.75 um, mole of SO3. Now, when you have a balanced equation, as soon as you have the moles of any one of these substances, then you can work out the moles of the other one. So we know what the moles of this one is. So now we can get the moles of this one. Can you see the ratio is two to two, which is the same as, um, two to two is the same as one to one. So the moles of this will be the same as the moles of this. So we can say therefore the um, SO2 mole is also gonna be equal to 0 0.175. Now they're asking for volume and we're talking about STP. So we could go um, use this formula. So N is equal to V over VM. And we know the number of moles is 0 0.175. The volume is what we are trying to calculate. And then the molar volume, which is that 22.4. That's our molar volume at STP. So to get the volume alone, you would say 0 0.175 multiplied by 22.4 and you would get 3.92 and that would be measured in decimeters. This next one says, what is the mass of oxygen that has been used up in this reaction? Oh, well, that's a very easy question. All you do is you just take the moles of SO3 that we worked out 
which was um, this one over here, um, and you just get the moles of oxygen. So look at their ratio. So the ratio of oxygen to SO3 is in a one to two ratio. So if the SO3 is 0 0.175, and you need to work out this one, do cross multiplication. So that would give you um, 0 0.175 is equal to 2x, and then you can divide x by 2, and you would get um, 0 0.0875 mole. Now that's your moles of oxygen, okay? So that's the moles of oxygen. So you could then use this formula here, N equals to M over capital M. Now we know the moles of oxygen is 0 0.0875, the mass, we don't know. The molar mass of oxygen is gonna be 32 because it's 16 multiplied by two because there's two of them. Um, so these numbers you do use when you get the molar mass on the periodic table, but you don't use the numbers in the front. Um, so that'll be 32. Then to get the mass alone, you're gonna have 0 0.0875 multiplied by 32. And so that mass will be 2.8 grams, 2.8 grams.